Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and you're watching another live edition of the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short. Your daily dose of geek news, product views, and answers that you can use, like an answer to the question, Chris, did you soak the t-shirt that you're wearing for three days in salt water to soften it up? And the answer is yes, I did, and I have to tell you that I love this shirt. It's a great shirt. I appreciate this as a gift. It's an awesome thing to wear around the house or in public. And uh, it's not as soft as I would like it to be. So I, I think it's going to need a few more washings, potentially a swashing when, uh, I, I mean, you stick it in the swash to, to freshen it up, not necessarily to wash it to kind of break it down. That's the value of having the swash as a gadget. It's just there to freshen up. I, however, need to kind of just soften it. I wish there was like a, a t-shirt basher machine. That's what I want. There's, there's no tag. That's, the, that's really the good news about this t-shirt. But I'm, I'm really picky when it comes to softness against my skin. That's, that's why I like Diana. Diana is soft, <laughs> just so you know. Let me, let me feel, can I feel your uh, sweater? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I don't think it's soft. Oh, God. Oh, that's horrible. What is that, wool? No. That's soft. That is not soft. Like, in, in terms of a softness scale, I would put that somewhere in between steel wool and sandpaper. <laughs> It's crocheted. So let this be a, a note to everybody out there. Do not crochet me something, please. But I'm wearing an undershirt. Maybe that Shh, I don't think that's kind of TMI there, hon. Oh, okay. Uh, no, actually, you can crochet me things. I, I had a nice, really uh, crocheted afghan. It's very, very super soft. So it's all about the material for me. It's just, you know, it's, it's simple pleasures. So thank you to the now 957 patrons. We're kind of moving backwards again. That's okay. It's the beginning of a new month. Uh, I'm going to run through the list of patrons to give them credit midway through this broadcast. And this, this particular presentation, uh, after pledges have processed, it'll take about 10 days or so. So in about 10 more days, then you will see the new uh, presentation. Some names will have disappeared, new names will have appeared, and everybody will be happy. So it's an AMA Friday, now that we've talked about t-shirts and softness. And, okay, I'm not done with clothes yet. Someone else sent Baby Perillo a Darth Vader onesie. This is, uh, I, I have a feeling that the, uh, the, the baby will be wearing this regularly so the baby can bond with daddy. <laughs> and then, since I have a Darth Vader onesie and the baby has a Darth Vader onesie, all we now need is a onesie for Diana. Oh, that's okay. I know that's okay. So, there you go. You heard it, for, you heard it from us. It is okay. <laughs> it's okay. And uh, so thank you, whoever sent this in, and you will see uh, baby Perillo looking like daddy Perillo sooner rather than later. We're about a month away now from the due date, mm -hmm. and uh, we just scheduled a, a 3D appointment. Uh, what do you... 3D, 4D. 3D, 4, 4D? So we can travel through time, apparently, in this... <laughs> We're going to go into this, uh, it's not through our uh, uh, provider, our healthcare provider, uh, but we're, we're basically going in and getting a 3D modeling of our, uh, our the, uh, what is it now? It's not a zygote, it's not an embryo, it's a uh, uh, fetus, yeah. which uh, that's what it is, it's fetus. All these words for the same yeah. thing, the baby inside of Diana's belly. Uh, and so uh, basically we're going to get a scan of it, and I asked if we can get like a 3D like modeling of it and they say they they think they can do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a 3d file of baby perillo and get it over to jerry barnacle's nerdgasm to see if he can print it out a 3d model i'm not going to show that off for anybody but yeah just kind of neat because i don't want to give away the sex of the baby you know we haven't reached a thousand patrons yet hopefully we'll be there within a month uh in about 15 days i'll see some of you at vlogger fair brian roberts asked you that's techie that's geeky yeah. All right baby 3d scans 3d files 3d printing I mean, what, what use is technology if it doesn't impact your life in some way? We've been chomping at the bit to know just what this baby looks like. It more like Diana or more like me? I'm hoping for more like Diana. <laughs> I, I really... She's been craving Italian food. Yes. Like crazy. Yes. And I said, well, it's because you got Italian in you now. Yes. And that baby is a part of you, and so I'm a part of... Actually, yeah, I'm a part of you. Is that weird? I'm a little grossed out. <laughs> Brian Roberts asked, uh, "Why are you still using YouTube to live stream instead of Google Hangouts on air? Do I have to ask? Do I have to make you a video on the differences? I will do it anyway. Stay tuned. Uh, I, I think it's the way that we've scheduled things in, in the past. It's just a little uh, more accommodating to a higher quality of uh, video stream. And Google Hangouts will not accept this camera by way of uh, FireWire for whatever reason. At least the, the the classic version of Hangouts just would not recognize the camera." 
There's the answer to your question. Adam Toms asks, if you could add anything to your current skill set, what would it be? I always regret not learning another language. I hope to rectify that by learning Italian. Hey, great idea. Uh, Adam, you know, I think if I could add anything to my current skill set, I would definitely say programming. I, I, I absolutely would say programming. Uh, and, and I would want to take an approach to programming is not just getting things done, uh, but, you know, in hand with programming design. I, I, you know, I'm, and I am of the mindset that you can't, teach design. You can't, you can't learn design. I mean, you could refine it, but ultimately you have to have the eye or you don't. And something is either well-crafted or it's not. And so, uh, uh, you know, I would hope that if I could program, I could design well. Lord knows I can't dress myself. I can't design, you know, anything around me. I, 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 you know, I'm having fun, but that is not a good product necessarily make. Anthony Dribble, I'm sorry, Dibble. My bad. I put an R in your last name. I do apologize for that. Uh, and by the way, for the, the people uh, asking where am I getting these questions from, uh, patrons at the $5 level on up get uh, automatic AMA priority every Friday. So I'm going on that page, which I shared on my Patreon page at chrisperillo.com. And I'm watching the live stream too, so I can see Mitchell Wilson the second who is laughing. In, in, in the vlog, I, see, I saw his comment in the vlog. He was laughing when we were in the car yeah. and driving and it was silent. He knew what was coming. <laughs> And then you just chimed in. You said, "I win." <laughs> he laughed. He said, "He LOL'd." It's crazy. So Brian Roberts says, "Then get a new camera." Oh, if only it were that easy. Yeah, I just I, I need a new computer before I need a new camera. But I'm waiting ne for next year. Intel's going to have new chipsets. New Macs will be rolling out. 2015, I think, is going to be the year I'm going to be doing a a, a handful of upgrades uh, to hopefully make my life faster, easier, better and hopefully more patrons to help uh, kind of support that cause. I haven't necessarily bought a lot of hardware lately. Uh, that's not what I'm using the pledges for. Uh, for people who are wondering, just to be transparent, I have a couple of people who work with me, or for me really, uh, as uh, contractors. Uh, John Prosser, Bob Fogarty, uh, and uh, uh, Kat Armstrong, or I guess formerly Armstrong, she's married, uh, Kat Miller. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I basically pay people to help me do the things that I do. So you'd think that, oh, it's all Chris. I'm like, it isn't. There's a lot of things that happen in the in the background, and I'm very grateful to have a, a solid team around me. Eric Jones, is this the bowler forever here? I think it is. Uh, he asks, would you recommend any reliable websites to troubleshoot computer and network problems? I'm currently having major networking issues on my one computer on my network, and I'm desperate to get it resolved. Thanks. Uh, networking is a black hole of hell. Uh, I, I'm not a, a someone who's necessarily a, a wonk. When it comes to networking or troubleshooting, I've had to do uh, enough on my own to know that there's a lot that I don't get. A lot that I do get and a lot that I've troubleshot through on my own. But uh, in terms of reliable websites, you know, I don't know if there's anything that would necessarily help you troubleshoot specific computer network issues because there's so much that can happen. So much can go wrong. Now, if you're saying that it's uh, one computer on your network that's causing the issues, well, I'd isolate that. Uh, it, it could be the card. So instead of just replacing the network card, if you can, uh, you know, possibly get a, like a USB or a, you know a Thunderbolt connector, whatever, whatever computer you have, whatever device uh, it, or I guess uh, ports are on it, uh, try another networking card. And if you still have problems with that, that'd be strange to me. It, it really would. Uh, but try a different networking device on that computer. That'd be the first step. Uh, and then from there, you know, I, sh I could probably spend the rest of this broadcast talking to you about all the problems you can have with uh, networking on the computer. But that'd be the first. Eric, I'll give you the first step. That's about as much as I could might be able to do for you right now. Uh, we're in the process, by the way, for those asking. I've been... I've had LockerGnome.net running for a while. Some people still actively use it, but it's on kind of a dead platform, and it, it costs me more to host than it's actually worth. So I didn't want to scrap it. So I talked, to, I, I threw, you know, the idea out there, and someone picked up on it. And there may be a chance that LockerGnome.net will be rebooting on a, a faster, cleaner, easier system to better help connect you as someone who's asking for help and I may not be able to give all of it, uh, to, to come back to the same community of people uh, to get a, a more fleshed out response. So I'm working on rebooting LockerGnome.net one step at a time. It's, it, 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 Rome was not built in a day. Adam Wallace asks, what webcam do you use for the patron hangouts? Uh, is it the Logitech C930E? It is. 
That's, that's what I use right there. It's about the best webcam that you could possibly get, at least for Mac OS X. Uh, very clean, very uh, uh, effective. It works very well in low light. You don't have a, a drop frame rate like you might see on a lot of uh, uh, webcams to the point where I have two of them. This one stays stationary, connected to the Mac Pro. The other one I travel with. Even, even though I have... A, uh, an HD, uh, what do they call it, uh, FaceTime camera on, on the Mac. I don't think the FaceTime cameras are amazing. I mean, they work well. They work better than they used to. I mean, in terms of like HD resolution, but, th th you know, if Apple paid as much attention to that webcam as they do uh, other things, I think it would be, I, I would, it would be awesome. I don't think they will because they don't necessarily need to, and it's just a matter of cost uh, in relation to what they might get out of it. So Mitchell Wilson uh, ended up answering Adam's question in our uh, private thread, and I appreciate that. You got it right. Steve Sh uh, Ch 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 Chanine? Steve Shanine? Don't hate me, Steve. I I've not read your name or last name out uh, out loud before. I like Steve. I mean, I like everybody for the most part. But I really like Steve because his avatar is a, a dark helmet from Spaceballs. Oh, yeah. No. You never saw Spaceballs. No. No, I know. It's okay. Well, soon. Soon. Uh, original untouched Star Wars trilogy or remastered versions and why? You know, I, I'm probably going to get slagged for this, but I, I really didn't mind the remastered versions. Uh, apart from uh, the, the when Lucas really changed or modified the, the certain things about the film, there's certain things that irked me, but certain things that I really, really appreciated. I appreciated things getting cleaned up. Uh, okay, a couple things I didn't appreciate, the fact that he changed the, the scene with Han and Greedo. He completely changed Han's character by screwing with it and making it look like Han didn't shoot first. And I think that's wrong, because it, it completely flies in the face of what made Han such a lovable character. You've got the issue of him being this this rogue, this scoundrel, all the way through the first film, only to find out at the end that he, he kind of redeems himself. So that redemption at the end, that value is lost by changing just that one scene. So um, I don't think Lucas should have messed with it. Uh, the second thing that really perturbs me is how Jedi was messed with. So at the end of Return of the Jedi, the third film in the original trilogy, uh, basically they went, he went back and he went back and uh, messed with uh, when Darth Vader overthrew the Emperor and, and threw the Emperor down the chamber in the Death Star. Uh, in the original film, he just overthrows the Emperor. But in the new remastered version, he uh, Vader goes, No! Just like in Episode 3. And I'm like, eh. I didn't like it in Episode 3 at all. That was like, to me, I, was just, I almost walked out of the theater. I'm like, What? Um, so, I didn't like that part. I also didn't like the fact that, uh, Lucas went in and put, um, uh, this guy, Hayden Christensen, uh, I'm gonna, you're, you're gonna, he put this guy in place of, uh, Sebastian Shaw at the end of Return of the Jedi after uh, Vader was killed, or, or basically died on the, on, on the Death Star itself. So, I didn't, the actor was basically superimposed at the, the final scene where they were like force ghosts. That really, uh, that upset me greatly. Uh, so uh, consider me a fan of uh, more of the retouched version. There's actually a fan-based version that's being edited, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to get my hand on it, hand or hands, uh, my fingers, my, my eyes on it. I just want to see it because it's a fan edit, and the guy is just like super, super detail-oriented and probably has done a, a better job at remastering Star Wars than I think uh, George Lucas and Lucasfilm and or Disney is even bothered to do. Uh, so I, I'm hoping to get a hold of that. It's a, it's, you got to get it as a bootleg, though, so I, I have to find someone who actually has that Star Wars edited edition to be able to watch it. Uh, oh, I missed the next part of the webcam question. What webcam would you recommend for live streams? Whichever one you use. Whichever one you want. I mean, there, there's no... Who cares? I mean, I, I, I'm i not trying to diminish your question. I mean, who cares? You know, just get a webcam that works, that you like, that, that works for you. Uh, everybody is going to have a different opinion. I happen to like the C930E. So do I recommend it? I suppose. Is it perfect? No, but then again, nothing is. Uh, I'm not a fan of Logitech software, but in terms of hardware and OS X, it's about as good as you can get right now. Austin uh, asks, uh, Chris, I'm going to take a career center classes for technology. A career going to take a career center class for technology. Uh, I don't know whether to choose the troubleshooting side and taking apart Mac or PC or the programming side of things. Programming, 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 Austin. Here's the reason why. Uh, 
the, the Mac, uh, the PC, they're not, I mean, they're still being used and purchased and, and, and sold, but uh, the, the breed is dying in, in terms of what most consumers might be adopting these days. Um, I wouldn't necessarily specialize in that uh, because it, it, you're, you're going to be sidelined real quick. I mean, more, more people are using uh, uh, tablets or smartphones for their primary computing experiences these days rather than classic Macs or PCs. doesn't mean that they're not selling. It just means that in terms of a career choice, if you're asking me what I would do, I'll go back to programming. Programming is something that you'll, will last the rest of your life. I mean, there's always going to be need, a, a need uh, for programming, a skilled uh, programmer. So uh, that's the path I would take. It's the path that I would recommend. Adam Wallace comes back. He fires a series of questions. Uh, <laughs> why did you start the Locker Gnome business? Um, why? I thought it was interesting. I, don't, I, I didn't really didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't have a model to go after. I didn't, no one else was really doing what I was doing at that time. Uh, I had a feeling it could work, and it did, and, and over time it continues to work well because I've been able to uh, adopt uh, new strategies or adapt to uh, changing uh, marketplace and increasingly a changing marketplace. That's, that's really, to me, the, what's, what's kind of... It's interesting to see other people who started out about the same time I did or may have done other things, and now they're forced to do other things completely different from what they were doing originally, and I'm lucky enough to have evolved that over time, you know, being able to take in YouTube as a, a, a strategy uh, for continuing to exist and, as luck would have it, now that I'm at this point in the broadcast, uh, being able to, to pick up on a model like what Patreon provides because ads just don't work. I mean, I've seen five of my peers who used to run their own blogs or websites basically have to go and work for other entities outright because the ad market just bottomed out. You know, S the SEO game is a bunch of BS and... Uh, you can't rank for that stuff anymore. More, a lot more people are using apps to discover content than they might be using Google to discover content. And even when Google messes with things, uh, the the value of an ad, and I've talked about this so many times, but it's it's really speaking to, to Adam, the core of what Adam Wallace is asking. Why did you start the Locker Gnome business? I think a, a more interesting question is, you know, how did you continue it? Uh, because starting something is easy. Super easy. Anybody can start anything. Uh, continuing it, though, that's where it becomes a trick. So... You know, you watch what I do, or you read what I do, or you listen to what I do because you value what it is that I do. The problem when you're creating content for an ad-driven market is that your content's only valuable, it's, it's only as valuable as how many people have seen it. That's, that's horrific. Like, that's, you think about everything that you love, and you don't care how many other people like Star Wars. You don't care. You like it. That's what matters. That's the difference between a Patreon-supported model or a patron-supported model and a typical ad-supported uh, model. And I think more and more content producers are going to go the route of, uh, uh, you know, addressing their core community and, and giving them more. And this is why I'm giving the patrons more of my time, more of my energy, more of the insight that they uh, want from me, more, you know... It's, there's no way around it. And I think, I mean, I get, I'm, I'm not angry. I'm, I'm being emphatic. I'm not upset. I'm just saying a lot of people don't quite understand that that's just the way the game works. I mean, forget about people who block ads. Forget about, you know, the way that other YouTubers do it. I mean, eventually you can't rely on traffic coming in. You can't rely on subscribers. You can't, I mean, I don't mean you, I can rely on you obviously, but I'm saying those numbers don't really match the value of the content. And that's why I say, you know, if I'm worth, the price of a cup of coffee once a month, we're good to go. Because that's, you know, honestly, it's the economy of scale. It's it's finding a thousand true fans out there and and really doing my best to drive from 1,000 to find 2,000 to find 3,000 and continue down the line. Uh, Gary asks, Chris, I would like to thank you for telling me about Spotify during Apple's keynote speech back in 2012. I saved so much money by using Spotify. I never got the chance to tell you, uh, I think, until now. Thank you, my friend. Well, you're welcome, Gary. I just, that's that's nice. I'm glad I was able to do that. I mean, Spotify's a big service, uh, but I'm very, very grateful that uh, you told me this because there, there are times that I make recommendations that do end up saving people a massive amount of money and more than anything, a massive amount of time. I mean, even with big services, I'm always surprised. Like, some people just don't know that you could do one thing or another uh, or didn't realize that a certain thing existed that could save them time, money, energy, resources in general. So you're welcome, Gary. Olivia asks, when the baby comes, what electronic device would you get for you and the baby? They all suck, Olivia. I'm just flat out, straight up, they suck. Uh, I uh, I just did a broadcast minutes before doing this broadcast uh, with Callie Lewis and John uh, P. Uh, Paz. 
down in, the, in Texas, they uh, just launched, or I guess really opened up a, a geek house of sorts. And we were talking about this. And I, I a lot of the baby tech out there sucks. It's horrific. It's horrible. New parent tech is bad. It's nasty. It's I, I don't want to waste my money on it. Honestly, I mean, they're... They're not good. Baby tech sucks. It, it's it's really bad. It's it's nasty. Even the ones that you would think would be great, horrible. Either expensive, like outrageously expensive for haphazard experiences, or even if it's more affordable, it's just still not a good experience. I've yet to find a baby electronic device or electronic device for a baby that I, I'm really kind of bowled over by. Uh, at least, you know, again, for the baby. And I'm sure as time goes on, I'll discover new things and, and have, you know, different interest points. I think ultimately, uh, I'm not going to serve the baby electronic devices outright just because they're electronic. Uh, you know, a toy might come around or, you know, a, a tool uh, to help better connect us. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm still looking for uh, the, quote unquote, the best baby cam out there. And I haven't found it. And anytime someone has made a recommendation, I look at the reviews. I'm like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get that. No, 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 no. Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking I may end up uh, using the Mini Thing app. It's a free app, at least on iOS, that'll transform any iOS device into a monitor of sorts. And I may end up going that route and just retrofitting or refitting a, an iOS device to keep an eye on, on the baby as a, as a baby monitor. Ultimately, I think the baby, the best baby monitor that we're going to have are, are probably us. I didn't. My I I I ended up fine, and I had zero gadgets. So I I'm not I'm not gonna freak out about you know all that kind of stuff. I honestly, Olivia, if you have a recommendation, I am all ears. Give me an idea for what electronic device might work for me and the baby because I have not seen it. I really haven't. It's kind of, it's 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 frustrating because I'm like. Suck, suck, suck. What do I always say? What does Diane always say? We've evolved. We've evolved for, for a reason. reason. What does that mean? Like we we get better stuff. Like we didn't have baby monitors. Right. But they're making stuff to better, you know. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that it's not better. We haven't evolved. There's no baby monitor out there that has really impressed me. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, did not mean to deflate your whole... No, I mean, anything's better than nothing. No, I, I wouldn't go that far either. There's times where I'd almost have... No, I'd rather have nothing than something. If that something's a pain in the neck, no, I don't want that something around. It's horrific. Why would you Why would you want something to be a pain in the neck when it's easier to live without? That's, in so many ways, this is one of the reasons why I run things lean, mean, and clean. Like, people think that I'm surrounded by gadgets. Like, I don't want a million things. The more things you have to manage, the more problems you're going to run into. Keep it simple, stupid. It's the kiss method. That's a general thing. I'm not calling you baby. I'm not. That's not yeah. an attack. Why kiss. Why are you agitated today? I sound agitated, yeah. don't I? I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know either. I'm not agitated. <laughs> Maybe it's just I'm I'm going nuts, but I'm I'm like I'm I'm not agitated. I, you're right. The tone is kind of agitating. I'm coming across kind of. Why? I'm direct today. Like. Yeah. This is. Some days I'm like that. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't tell you, folks. I don't know. I, I'm not angry, though. I can tell you that much right now. Jonathan Curran asks, Chris, when does Patreon take my pledge? Uh, they should have taken it today. If not already today, then later today, check on your account. Make sure it's up to date. Make sure you're cleared. Otherwise, I have to send out email messages saying, uh, yeah, I hate to tell you this, but something didn't work. Uh, so check that. Um... Very nice. Brian Roberts says, that is correct. And being a patron, I have a vested interest that Chris does the best he can do. Amen. Even if I don't have a camera that, that's going to work for the other thing. Uh, honestly, just get an audio-only baby monitor. We had the same problem. Couldn't find a decent video monitor. Greg Schaeffler said. There you go. Audio. And we can handle that on an iOS device. We're good. We're good. Honey, I got this. I got this. I got this, boo. You know what's cool about this Darth Vader figure? This is the tech. Watch, watch, watch. So, look, it's a, it's it's what color is the lightsaber, hun? Well, he's not running away. Okay, what color was the lightsaber? It was red. Now, what color is the lightsaber? Blue. That's cool. I think that's badass. And, and, and speaking of badass, that's that's the actor there. He's badass. That's why I have to put a mask on him. It's, it's finally, shut him up. Ah. Uh, Gary said meant to say thank you. I got you. Uh, Efren M asks, what's in store for OMG and TGIF? 
You know, honestly, I've been so crammed with either hangouts or uh, baby prep or vlogger fair prep, I have not had time to breathe. John is also working on something uh, that he hasn't really said much about and asked me if I could help with it. And so I'm kind of waiting to hear more about that project before I announce anything. Um, the videos definitely worked. Okay, okay, shut up, shut up. Can he shut up? I, I can't believe I'm telling Dark Vader to shut up. Okay, shut up. I want to move on. I needed to put the helmet off. I mean, I, never mind. I wanted to put the helmet on to get it out of the way. What? I just yeah, he's the master. Yeah, you told him to shut up. Well, yeah. He said I'm the master. Oh, well then it was funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, anyway, I I don't really know. Um, I I can tell you this. I know I need to do more gadget things. I know. I've been. How excited am I about Star Wars stuff? I've got Star Wars stuff laying around. I've been wanting to do a Star Wars video. I haven't had time. There's like only so much time I have to get through the day, to get through projects, to be able to do those extra things. So I, I haven't, I haven't solved that problem yet, and I, I don't. The the answer is I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm still hoping and wishing and praying that I can crack that nut to be able to give you guys and gals. More, more of the stuff that you want. And, and we, we kind of experimented with OMG and TGIF, and I think a lot of people really enjoyed those things, but then John got busy with his own projects. Uh, you know, I got busy with the pregnancy and the, uh, uh, the extra time that's taken. Uh, it just it, There's only so much time that I have. And uh, so I haven't, I haven't cracked that nut yet. And I'm hoping, praying, what I'm, what I'm dreaming of, and I, I, I've told you this from the very beginning, I want to get the patron pledges to a level where I will be able to find someone locally to come in with me once a day, once a week, whatever, to come and do like a gadget show. Just hardware, straight up hardware. Jerry, you know, we do geek outs every other week. He's now busy with his own projects because he's not with Microsoft. So it's just like, I, to get someone's time, it's not easy. It's not just, hey, can you come over and do, I mean, it, it takes time. And for that, some people expect to be compensated accordingly. So unless I can get a sponsor or build the patron pledges to the point where I can expand that team in that way, it, it becomes a, a bit more of a, a, a challenge for me. So the answer is, I don't know. We experimented. I think some people liked it, but ultimately I think what's going to better serve this community are going to be core pieces around new hardware, new gadgets. And I have to find the right person to help me with that because I'm not, a ga I'm not as much of a gadget guy as a lot of people are out there. Flat out. I mean, I'm, I'm more of a pundit. I'm sitting here and telling you opinions and perspectives and answers and stuff. That's not, that's like almost the complete opposite of what a lot of those gadget people do. So uh, anyway, that's the answer to that question. Olivia asked, Hey Diana, I wanted to ask you, do you like the shoes that I have? High heels or short heels? Oh, and do you like shoes that oh, yeah. I have? High heels or short heels? Do you like high heels or short heels? Well, uh, right now I can only wear short heels, but I love high heels. When I'm not pregnant, I can probably wear them again. She's airing out her closet right now, though. Yeah. She says they smell too much like shoes. I'm like, well... <laughs> It's kind of like me complaining. This 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 workshop smells too much like Darth Vader. <laughs> Darth Vader needs a scent. Yeah. yeah I, fe I feel like a musky a scent, cologne? you know? Yeah, like a cologne. Would you buy it? Oh. <laughs> Did you really ask? Yes. You're funny. What if they have it? They don't. Oh. I guarantee it. So, yeah, Diana likes a variety of shoes. She's got mm -hmm. pumps. She's got heels. She's got sh uh, flats. Wedges. Wedges. Um... Ballet. Ewoks. Boots. Klingons. Boots. Capacitors. <laughs> I'm just throwing out words here. Are any of them shoes? No. Oh. I didn't know. Uh, one more thing uh, before we finish up for today, because I didn't really see any questions uh, coming in through the uh, the live stream. And that's okay. Uh, do not feel bad. Uh, I'm going to set that there. I have in my hot hands a valued collectible. Hot Wheels, Star Wars, guess Vader. That right there. It's a special. Uh, they only had these at Comic-Con. Uh, hot Wheels is going to be doing a series of cars uh, that are going to be styled in Star Wars. Or at least, you know, in the Star Wars universe. And Hot Wheels, Star Wars mashup, I think this is pretty much the first time ever between those two. 
and uh, those two brands, I should say. And the nice thing is, uh, people can stop telling me about the Darth Vader car because I know about it. Yeah, I know you won't stop telling me uh, because people last week was like, hey, "Did you see the Darth Vader car? I seen the Darth Vader car. Yes, great, I've seen it." So I'm not going to take this completely out of the case. However, I'm going to show you a little showcase here. That's Darth Vader's lightsaber. And down at the bottom, you see Hot Wheels, Darth Vader, and then the Star Wars insignia, or logo. And there's the Imperial insignia in the back there. Ah, there we go. There, you can see it right there. Uh, so what you can do is you can pull a tab. As, as you slide out the, the sides of the lightsaber, you can pull the tab, and it'll make the chamber in which that car sits glow red. And I don't want to do that, because I don't want the battery to leak and destroy the value of this very fine collectible. Uh, they will be releasing, by the way, uh, the, the Hot, Wheel, uh, Hot Wheels line. There will be a, a separate Darth Vader car outside of the collectible. So that's nice to know. Uh, but not like this collectible, which is just, I think, amazing. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if I should take it out of the case to showcase it or keep it in the case. I don't know yet where I'm going to go with that. But I'm um, very grateful that uh, this is now in my possession uh, my precious. No, actually, this is my precious. This is the one ring to rule the workshop right here, <laughs> even though it's not in focus, because I think my expressions of Vader are getting in the way. Let's try that. Focus, focus. Ring. Okay, now the ring's in focus. Kiss it. Kiss the ring. Kiss. Okay, fine. Kiss the ring of power! Or not. Uh, actually, I do care. And thank you so much for caring enough to, to tune in uh, for this broadcast. Those are the questions I got to in a half hour or so. Uh, you know, I, I'm really only as good as, as, as you are. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, like, because so much of the time that I spend is based on the things that I know you want from me. That's where my mind is. You know, I, I'm, I'm kind of a, I guess, a geek culture cultivator and very happy to be that for you. So I appreciate the time that you spend. Um... I, I know I've got so many other questions that I could possibly answer in a half hour's time, uh, but again, got to make priorities uh, somewhere. So I appreciate you giving me priority uh, for this uh, this time that we spent together. Four hangouts were done this week. This weekend, we're doing two live streams, or one. We're doing one. One, one live stream. Diana, in her channel, wants to do a couples tag. So we're going to be doing that in her channel for her week video. She does a video a week in her channel. Uh, her patrons, I think, are going to get the exclusive ability to hang out with her. Yeah. In that, or us. We're going to be doing it here in this office because it's kind of set up and it's just easy to do. I would love to do the hangouts in her uh, office, but it's, I don't know if I can necessarily get back there. And she's having, because she's pregnant, the chair that she has is a little uncomfortable. So that's one of the reasons why she hasn't been uh, back there for quite some time. Uh, Brian Roberts says, you need a camera crew. I do not disagree at all. I want one. I want one. To get there just takes things that I don't have. Uh, a, people. Uh, B, budget. <laughs> so, uh, and C, skill. Uh, and D, time. And you know, I can, list goes on and on. Either way, my eyes are always open. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you for your support. And at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices. Hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. Uh, and, of course, uh, you know, thank you for... If, if you appreciate the effort, thanks again. Uh, we hope you like today's effort. Uh, so thanks for subscribing, sharing, watching, uh, becoming a patron, um, tweeting. Uh, what else do they do that we like? Um, yeah. Commenting. Commenting. That was the last one. I knew there was something missing. Uh, that was it. It was the commenting thing. So thank you for, uh, for being you so that I can be a better me for you and that's that's really all I, I had to say right now yeah. i promised myself i wasn't going to cry um. well you later i'm not gonna cry <laughs> well you later